It's singling out four individuals. Um, and knowing the media environment that we're operating in, knowing the amount of death threats that we get, knowing the amount of, of concentration of attention, I think it's just it's it's wor just worth asking why. Do you think she has racial animus? Is she racist? No, no, absolutely not. That's a CNN reporter who is desperately attempting to nab a soundbite from Representative Ocasio-Cortez in which she calls House Speaker Nancy Pelosi a racist. Because instead of getting to the heart of their disagreement, the media is infinitely more focused on escalating the fights of personalities so they can get their next AOC versus Pelosi cash grab headline. And speaking of cash grabbing, that's exactly what's driving this feud, not race. Although the fact that the four freshman members of Congress that Pelosi is throwing to the wolves are women of color is exceedingly relevant. What is making this battle between between Pelosi and Ocasio-Cortez so lengthy and so entrenched is money itself, although the more corporate Democrats are trying to make it about race. I'll explain. Pelosi spoke out angrily against representatives Ocasio-Cortez, Presley, Omar, and Tlaib to the New York Times over the weekend because the four representatives refused to support Pelosi's compromised border bill that would fund Trump's wall along with humanitarian aid because the bill didn't take funds away from the abusive immigrant detention centers. All these people have their public whatever and their Twitter world, Pelosi told the Times, but they didn't have any following. They're four people and that's how many votes they got. A pretty arrogant thing to say about two out of the four women you were so eager to pose with on the cover of Rolling Stone to brag about the diversity and Yas Queen flower power of the party. Except when that flower power interferes with your donor interests. That's when we have an issue. In defense of herself and other representatives like Ilan Omar who have faced death threats because of this specific, often bigoted hyper-focus from chiefly right-wing media, AOC clapped back in an interview saying that Pelosi's, quote, singling out of those four lawmakers is dangerous. Instead of reflecting upon this, Pelosi did this. Every time I'm attacked, I raise more money, Pelosi said, looking directly at Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and drawing huge applause from the caucus. A child. That's what a child does. And in case you had any doubt, the chief child backed this childishness this morning. Trump ran to Pelosi's defense calling AOC, quote, disrespectful. Solid company, Pelosi. But here's where the heart of everything is. At the same time that all of this is going on, Justice Democrats, the group that backed those four freshman lawmakers with purely small donors, has announced that they are mounting a primary challenger against Lacey Clay, a conservative member of the Congressional Black Caucus. So now in a transparent effort, they're trying to accuse Ocasio-Cortez and Justice Democrats of targeting members of the Black Caucus, even though the person they're backing against Clay Cori Bush is black herself. And here's the most egregious quote. She's only a woman of color when it's convenient. None of the things she's fought for aligned with communities of color and her group is funded only by elitist white liberals. She's a puppet, the top Democratic aide told The Hill in a phone call. She literally nonstop talks about Flint and just went to the border to help out immigrants, but okay. Or, or could it be that you only use race when it's convenient for you because Ocasio-Cortez is a woman of color who defeated an old white incumbent the exact kind of diversifying race that you're supposed to be for. In reality, it's only about one thing, the money. AOC, Ilan Omar, Tlaib, and Presley aren't beholden to donors, so they aren't bending to their will. And they have also witnessed an insurgent Tea Party that caused enormous unrest and infighting within the Republican Party, and in the time of their insurgency, the GOP picked up a thousand seats. The reality is that infighting and debate doesn't hurt the party or set the party back. It only rattles the big money donors, and that's what Pelosi cares about most. And the members of the Congressional Black Caucus who are weaponizing race in this instance are serving that pro-donor narrative, cynically so, while throwing their freshman uncorrupted lawmakers, who are women of color, under the bus.